Ever wondered how drops are planned and how clothing brands sell out? Well, in these videos, I'm going to show you a way to do it that will get people to buy from your brand, not just one time, but many times. Because you don't want to just sell out one drop and fall off. You want to build a brand that people like to buy from and identify with. First, you need people. You need attention. So wait until you have at least 3K followers on Instagram and at least 5K followers on TikTok to drop. Don't worry about making money for now. Worry about getting eyes. You have to wait. If you are impatient, this won't work in the long run. You are trying to build a brand, not make quick money. To build a following, you need to show people something so good they can't ignore and in a way that it's free for you to do consistently. That's why the next step is to make a lot of designs and mock-ups to show them off. Doesn't matter how long it takes or if you think it's good, if you already posted about that design a lot and people don't seem to like it, then you need to change it up and move on to another design. They decide if it's good or not. Where can I get mock-ups? Well, in the description, I'll leave a site where you can get free resources, mock-ups, Shopify themes for your site, and much more. Now, every day, try coming up with designs for at least three to four hours. And depending on the niche you are going for, try finding other clothing brands that are popular and take a screenshot of their best designs. Why? Well, you need inspo. And by having a lot of references, you can create stuff that's new, like a new color. If you mix yellow and blue, you will get a green color. Same thing for designs. Mix them up to come up with something new. How do you come up with a good design, though? You can start by picking clothes you like. What do they all have in common? What would you wear? Remember that you have to be proud of wearing your brand. So make clothes that you would love to see in yourself and in other people. A design can be subjective, so there's not really a guide to make the perfect design. But you just know when a design is bad, you can tell by the effort that was put into it. Obviously, if it only took you some hours to make it and you just used a Google image, don't think it will blow up. You need to think outside of the box and put a lot of thinking and effort into it. But make as many as you can. You will select the best ones later on. And you can also ask your friends about their thoughts. You can also post a poll on your stories asking which one they like the most. There's just so many ways to get people's opinions like on Discord servers for brand owners, Reddit, and more. But just ask and you will get them. Be open to all criticism. Even the harsh ones can make you a better designer. But yeah, always ask why they think that. It's better to know more about their perspective. Now you need to have a profile for your ideal customer. How old are them? What brands do they wear? What artists do they like? How do they talk? Do they prioritize quality more or the design of the clothes? Once you have a design good enough, you have to put it on a mock-up. Then what you are going to do next is use one of these hooks for TikToks. We will leave it in the description too. Then go to TikTok for one hour every day. Not to consume, but to look for viral sounds and save them. So go ahead and scroll on TikTok. After having that done, find ways to show off your mock-up that will catch people's attention. If you have an iPad, have the mock-up on there and take a picture of the iPad and your mock-up. Then use a hook and let people tell you what they think. You have infinite chances to go viral, make a lot of TikToks with many different designs. If one of them goes viral, say like 10K views, you can start preparing for the drop and get a sample made. To get a manufacturer, you need to go to Alibaba and search the exact description of what you want. For example, custom screen printed shirt, 100% cotton, 420 GSM. Then check their experience years and rating. This is very important because it's not cheap to get samples made, so you better find a good manufacturer as soon as possible. On Bivecax Media, you will find a list with trusted manufacturers if you want the research done for you. Anyways, now let's suppose you have the sample. Make content with it. What you want to do is promote it a lot on TikTok. It will be trial and error, so try as many hooks as you can. Also find the right time and amount of TikToks you can do in a day that fit your schedule since some of you might still be at school or work at a 9 to 5, but let's say you can post twice a day. Make sure every TikTok is pretty good because if you post six bad TikToks, it won't matter. You need to post good shit. But if you feel like they are all good, then by all means post them. You will immediately get feedback. If your TikTok gets 200 to 400 views, then you need to work on that. 
Then get someone to wear that sample. It can be you, of course, but it can also be your friend. Since you only got one sample, you want to be able to get it back. We know shipping times takes a while since most manufacturers are overseas. So if you can't get more than one sample made because it would be expensive for you, then... Yeah, you need to get the sample back, rep your sample, and post some good pics. You can go to nice places, somewhere with great cars. Needs to be something aesthetic that you would be like, that's tough. Then once you have that picture, test it out and see if it works. Now, you don't need to be afraid of failing because you will. And many times, actually. You just need to be consistent and not give up. Because you believe in your product, right? Trust yourself and be self-aware. If you are not self-aware, you will waste a lot of time. Remember to prepare for one. Two months. Always plan ahead. Now what you need is to build up the hype and get people's info to be able to reach them once you drop. In the next video we will go over that, so get ready and subscribe if this was helpful. Thank you for watching.